right then, guess what? It's crane driving time with Benno. So I've returned to one of my favorite cranes. And this time I've got Jordan and Milo with me. And it's Milo's first time he's ever climbed the crane. So this video is pretty much crane driving lessons for Milo. Let's go. So, guess where we are? At the top of the crane. Let's drive it. Right then, it's crane driving time with Benno. Yes, the best thing to do up a crane. Drive it. So then, I'm up his crane with me, George and Milo. I've returned to his crane and yes, it still drives. So that means, let's drive it. Start off with emergency stop. I'm not sure how we can see this because it's very dark. Emergency stop, out. Press the green button and crane will switch on. Crane is now on. So, crane's currently at 94 meters. I first found it at 100 meters where it won't go above 100. So take this lever and let's release the brake. The F started, it's going down, and let's crank up to full speed. And let's stop it. 87 meters. So let's go back up to 100 meters where I found it. So Start it up, brake releases, the F starts up and full speed up. And there we are. Now we're going to raise and lower the arm of the crane. This is a vertical crane, not a horizontal one. So, see the big arm up there? We're going to lower that. So, we use this lever this time on the other side. Let's monitor our hook as we do it. So, start it again. Move it slightly to start it up. There, brakes released. Now, notice it's a hydraulic arm. So, it's a hydraulic, VF hydraulic. So, let's go down. Full speed down now. And, let's stop there. Oh, the sound of that back, it sounds even better on the back. It actually goes faster up and it goes down. So now we're going to pull it the other way to go up. Hopefully you can all see this. So move it slightly. Start up, brake releases and full speed. So that's how you drive a crane. Now, rotating it. Now this is a manual crane. It's got a little button. So that's a manual crane. So there's a special thing for manual cranes, you have to drive them different to automatic cranes. So I'll demonstrate that. So to rotate the crane, you have to press this little button on the side, but it's a manual crane. The brake is manual, not automatic. Oh, well, here it goes, that's rotating. So it's now starting to move. So speed it up, it starts to speed up. So it's rotating, it's sped up. Now I mustn't apply a brake when it's moving, so it's turning. Now I have to slow it down the other way. It's manual, so I have to manual slow it down, manual slow it down to a stopped, apply the brake. Now that is different to an automatic crane. An automatic crane, you just go and it does it all for you. Manual crane, you have to be careful. So I'm going to rotate it back. Now, so it started turning, speed it up. Oh, notice we're going faster back, the wind's pushing. So I need to go some backwards power to slow it down. Backwards power to slow it down. So I stop, now apply the brake. You mustn't apply a brake while it's turning. It's like a safety braking lift. So let's just demonstrate it again since I'm up here. So let's return it. Oh, turning, 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 turning. Let's put some backwards power in, slow it down, 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 apply a brake. Now let's put it back again, start up again. Full power, all turns faster, the wind's caught it. See, it's going faster on the way back. All quite a bit of speed there. Eh? Hello, tram. Then put some backwards power, slow it down, make sure we're not turning, or oh, it's wobbling a bit. Yeah, that's not turning, apply a brake. And let's just finish this video by doing it again. So let's do this side again, which is the hook. Let's do it again. This time I want to take a look out the window so we can have a nice BF drive. Oh, that sounds good. So let's move our hook back up again. So we can take the hook back up, back up to 100 meters on that. Let's go. Now let's do the arm again. So let's this time get a nice view 
of the arm. Let's look, how can we do it? Oh, we probably won't see it out well there. So let's look backwards at the hand, right? So you can see the arm move as we now lower the arm. And let's bring the arm back up again. So let's just press emergency stop before we do anything else. That lovely big emergency stop button. Keep our crane off when we're not using it. So now let's look around this. So what should we do first? Let's now look around the Jost interface. So this is our lovely Jost interface. It's got wind, miles an hour, press it. And it changes it between settings. So you've got kilometers an hour, miles an hour, meters a second. So that's our settings there, rotation, in degrees, ropes, two, hook, 101 meters up. We got our load in the tons, thousand kilograms. The jib in meters. We got some more settings there. Night mode. Let's press night mode. Oh, it's easier to see at night now. Should I, should I, should I add it in night mode for this whole video? Why didn't I? I don't know. Day mode. Infos. Oh, we've got some infos here. And NTC, what's that? The make of the crane. Oh, you got our diagnostic screen, got user language. So you got a diagnostic there. Let's now go back to our home page. And if I press Jost, what does that do? Tells us about Jost. Oh no, it takes us to the same page. Oh well. So that's that screen. So now we can take a look around the crane cab. Back we have a microwave, a fan, three VF drives, one for the arm, one for the hook, and one for the rotation. Over there we've got a kettle, <gasps> bottle of piss, the best thing to have up your crane. So before I finish this video, since we're in a building site, let's take a look at a building itself. So I climb up the scaffolding stairs right to the top of the scaffolding. From here we get a nice view of the crane. Now let's go inside the building and take a look at our lifts. And sadly the lifts are just Gen 2s. So let's open them up and see how far progress has got. And they are near completion. And they are the real cheap model of Gen 2. These are really bad. Thank you. 